Oh, yo, man, you got a hat. Yeah, yeah, I did. Do you get Do you get the iPhone 7? Nah, well, what's that? Like, the uh, iPhone 7, like, iPhone, you know, the new iPhone that released, like, like a week ago. Come on, man. Uh, do you want to buy some weed? Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist, and I, I fucking, I got a hat. Weird, innit? Um, I... <laughs> Yo, so basically the iPhone 7 got announced recently and uh, I had this whole video planned which was the iPhone 7 conspiracy theory and most of the stuff I said in the video that I was like gonna guess was right but I, I couldn't be bothered with it. I couldn't be bothered with it because because my theory was confirmed, there's so much further I can go with it. So, the video I was going to make was going to be about how the iPhone 7, it's just going to have a million ways for Apple to make more money off you. And it kind of, and it has, okay, so, uh, something I didn't really touch on was uh, the headphone jack thing. I mean, so they obviously announced headphone jack, no more of that. First thing, Apple fucking taking your money, because what do you have? Everything requires fucking aux cable, and what what have you got? You you got no no auxiliary port, so you're gonna have to buy a converter for for like one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay, so not gonna do that. So there's another way which I, I really suspected and obviously it came true and it's hmm I reckon the guys were sat there and they were like hmm. Okay, so how can we make people spend even more money? So what, what, what brings in the most amount of money which isn't just selling phones? Hmm. I know <laughs> People cracking their phones people breaking them. How can we make them break even more? Oh, I know, I know. Let's have a huge camera, you know, like huge glass camera. So that way, when you drop it on the back and it lands on the back, it cracks. And then if you drop it on the front, it still cracks. And, and you know, because the curved screens and all that, it cracks even if it lands on its side. Ah, uh, <laughs> the money, man. <laughs> so my other thing was that I wanted, wanted to touch on was that Apple also, they, they, the iPhone 7 is nothing. It's, it's, I think, personally, there's, there's a final iPhone somewhere. And I've always thought it's the iPhone 10. And I think this iPhone 10 is somewhere, uh, locked about. And what they did was they originally made the iPhone 10. That was the original iPhone. And they thought, fuck, how can we make the most money out of people, you know? Ah, oh, that's, that's what we need, you know? The money. Oh, I, let's just take, let's take this out and let's take that out and let's take this out and, and that and, and that and, and here we have the iPhone first generation. And then let's just every year add a single one of those components that we took out and we'll make loads of like, millions and millions, if not billions of dollars each year, you know? Uh, sound good? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, honestly, if, if, if I made a phone and I made it like, 10 years ago and it was like you know this super amazing high-tech phone uh who knows that i would probably do the same to be honest uh, no. <laughs> you probably would as well <laughs> and that leads me on to my other thing which is uh it's it's almost apple's 10th anniversary it's next year and let's just say I uh, like I could have been a bit wrong. I could have been wrong. Maybe but oh, I could be right Maybe the last iPhone is their 10th anniversary one Maybe my suspicions were true and it's the iPhone 8 or whatever that's gonna come next year because like, Come on like if it's Apple's 10th anniversary next year They're not gonna release anything fucking amazing this year because then next year will look like shit What? So for now, I'm gonna stick with my my iPhone 6, and I'm not gonna bother with with getting the iPhone 7. One big thing that did also get announced was uh, recently on a, on another phone was 3D technology for screens, and there's been like uh, like outs for like Apple doing all this shit, and and they're like you know they're getting phone screens for like uh, you know they paid like Samsung some amount of money to get like a different type of screen which wasn't even in the iPhone 7, so it's definitely gonna be coming next year, and all this shit, and it's all pretty weird but this this is where it gets a bit weird you know um i do my regular thing i get these weird thoughts and i think all these things i'm like oh fuck all these conspiracy theories going around like uh there could be a, a full glass screen apple can make even more money with it fucking cracking so can i who can i find to help me with this of course i've done a couple conspiracy theories in the past i've got uh my justin bieber one i've got my pewdiepie conspiracy theory and now it's the iPhone conspiracy theory. So I got myself on the phone and called him up and I was like, yo man, 
I know you're busy with all your Illuminati shit, but can you help me? And he said yes. So this is the investigation. Today we are discussing the iPhone 7. I have concluded that the iPhone 7 is run by ISIS. Don't see it? The iPhone was originally released in 2007. 7. iPhone 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. There are 14 days in 2 weeks. 2. The iPhone 2 was skipped. 2 times 2 is 4. ISIS has 4 letters. The iPhone 6 has 4 colors. Still don't see it? It has been 9 years since 2007. 9 minus 2 is 7. 7. Magenta has 7 letters. There has never been a Magenta iPhone. Magenta iPhone 7. Magenta. Mag. Mag 7. iPhone 7 is ISIS confirmed. Right, I, I'm, I'm really confused about what, what just happened and I hope you understand that it's, it's obviously a joke. Although everything I said at the beginning of the video I do like pretty much believe. I mean, uh, I, I'm not going to get the iPhone 7 because I can't be bothered with having to pay to like fix that back camera because I know I'm going to break it like at least at least like four times. I've currently like, I think my, my, my phone here, uh, this I've broken seven times. Which means I've managed to pay double the amount the actual phone cost just in repairing the screen. So now that a new iPhone has come out and I have to spend more money on that, I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, also my plans for the next month and stuff like that, I've got some really, really big stuff in the works. So uh, it's taken me a little bit longer to upload videos to take because I'm planning so many things. From the 10th of October, that's when you could start seeing stuff pop up. But uh, it might be until like the 20th of October until I've actually got everything uploaded. Until then, until then, I'll have some cool videos coming out, a new Blaze Q&A at some point. I'm doing some collabs with a few people, so that should be cool. Let me know what you think of my hat. That would be pretty cool. And there will be lots more videos in the future. Oh, I've also I thought I would say I'm not going to make many of these conspiracy videos um, again because they're really hard to make. Like I just finished editing like all of the the Illuminati like part of it, and it takes long. Like that took a good good uh, a, a good couple hours to just get everything done, and uh, like actually it took way longer than that because I had to write everything. Yeah, it takes longer than you think because I have to write everything, I have to edit everything, and I have to think of everything as well. So uh, it's hard. Uh, if you give me a, a good thumbs up on this video, then that gives me the motivation to make more of these in the future. But it is, it is really difficult, as you probably know, so um, don't expect them too often. You can leave some suggestions as to what conspiracy theories I should do in the future. Uh, don't suggest anything to do with 9-11, um, and don't suggest anything to do with aliens, because I uh, just really can't be bothered to do the same shit as everyone else does. So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe for the videos to come and you comment down below and all of that lovely shit. My social media links and my Snapchat and stuff like that, all in the description. And thanks to everyone who started supporting me on Patreon. That's, that's pretty cool. You're in the description. Your, your names are in the description. Right, so uh, you watched this far into the video. Thank you very much. I'm glad you went all the way through. That's really cool. Gives me that retention and <laughs> all of that. Um, I thought I would say, uh, if you like live streams and stuff like that, you should totally check out my You Now page. I go live on that all the time. Well, I'm not, not all the time. I'm gonna try and get back into it. Maybe like twice a week, probably either like the day after or two days after I upload a YouTube video. So if you wanna know when I go live, just go onto You Now, hit like email notifications or something like that, or like subscribe or follow on the page, whatever you have to do, uh, or you can go onto my Twitter, turn on notifications for when I tweet, and then every time I tweet when I'm live, you'll get a notification and you'll be able to come along. There's an app for iPhone and Android as well, so if you want to watch it on your phone rather than computer, you can do that. That'll be pretty sweet. Also, 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 before you go, before you go, 
do, do you like the hat? Do you, do you like the hat? Because I'm digging the hat. I, I mean, I'm, I'm paranoid that I'm going to get no views because I'm, I'm not showing my hair. But I mean, I'm, I'm digging the hat.